Being at Jackson State, I would say it's, it's eye-opening. A lot of people don't know about HBCUs. Personally, I didn't know about many HBCUs uh, when I was going through my recruitment process. Mm -hmm. So I would say over, over the two years I've been here, two and a half years I've been here, um, a spotlight here, everything's here. Um, it's some things that's not up to par, but it's good and bad with everything. So the people, the fans, everything about the city of Jackson, I love. Thanks. People say it's a lot of crime in the city, but we haven't ran into it. We got our head on straight. We're going to school, doing what we got to do. So just being in love with the city, the people, um, just how kind they are, just the whole HBCU family, talking to them in the airport, playing around with them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nothing i ever ever been around before. I went to a private school in high school. So being around a, a lot of people of our own color and our own type right. is um, it's truly fun. Yeah. And we was able to play for the city. You got to understand the city doesn't have any um, national teams. It only has college. So, I mean, it's just giving hope to the city for something different. Having something, just being there talking to kids at Blackburn Middle School, them being able to connect with us, them being able just to talk to us and uh, just play with us and stuff like that. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of bad things in the city. A lot of kids never, when we um, brought some type of food up there, they, a lot of them ain't have it. They never tasted it before. So it was, it was just... Being in Jackson, I just feel like it's just eye-opening for everybody. Kids will have something to look up to. Kids will want to be uh, a Jackson State Tiger one day.